All right, folks, here's the video on my scope cam setup that you've seen if you watched my video at the 954 yard shot. The first thing I'm going to say is mounting, on a cam mounting a camera on the back of a scope on a large caliber rifle is tough to do because of the recoil. It's hard to keep the uh, video in frame of your target, whether it be a you know, predator or just a piece of steel. Uh, so on these on these uh, larger calibers, it's very very tough to achieve. Um, now 954 yards with this night force, I had to keep it on 10 power. That's what the video was you've seen, uh, which gave me a big enough view. I was able to keep it fairly decent on target a couple of the shots. Um, so I just thought I'd give you a quick video on how I did it and what camera I'm using and how I adapted it over. So to start with, go over the camera. This is a Sony CyberShot. This is an older model now. Back a few years ago, it was top of the line. It's the Sony model DSC W200. Little CyberShot. Now, at the same time when we bought the camera, we bought this uh, telephoto lens, which has this adapter for mounting onto this lens. It threads on like that. And then it clips onto the camera. Go ahead and screw that. Clips on. And then you tighten that down. So right there gave me a perfect mount. It just I got lucky here when I bought that telephoto lens. To mount this camera to my scope. Let me go ahead and put that on. I'll leave that on for a minute. Next thing I did, because I didn't want to scratch up my $2,000 scope, I took an old piece of, uh, this is uh, oh, a silicone caulking that we've used, and it has some paint on the inside, but it's a silicone caulking tube. So I split it, cut off about an inch and a half so I could slide it over my scope, and I ran some electrical tape around it. Yeah, I know this is pretty hillbilly, but it actually works out pretty good. So you run some some uh, electrical tape around that. Take yourself a piece of two inch PVC. Let's see on the, uh, is it the camera side. Yeah on the camera side this measurement here wouldn't quite fit so I just took a Dremel and routed that out a little bit and made some slices in it with a little handsaw and put a hose clamp on it. Actually two small hose clamps so it tightened up evenly all the way around. And uh, so that will push in nice and tight and you tighten that down. On the other end with this piece of uh, tubing on there it slides on nice and firm and then you tighten that hose clamp down. So you're actually looking through the viewfinder of the camera when you're shooting which is a really really odd experience if you haven't done it. Plus you're way back, you can't get up on your scope. So you're sitting way back on the gun. You are basically have your gun in the rest and you're holding onto the butt of the gun and your finger's way up ahead and you're just looking through the viewfinder. Now I have noticed that I don't have a sunshade so it makes it a little more difficult to uh, see the crosshairs through the viewfinder. Now Night Force has a, a lighted reticle so I was able to turn that light on which made it made a big difference. Um, so it's a real simple setup. It's fairly effective. There again, the recoil still affects me. Now what I did do too is I had two sandbags I put down on my on my gun rest. Zoom out here. I had two sandbags I set down on that platform and I actually bungee cord my rifle to the rest when I was shooting. Um, it probably would have made a difference. I would have had one more bungee cord. I went around the whole rest and over the top of this. I didn't want to go over my barrel or over my scope, so I went right over this with the bungee cord, around and around, got it tight. One more bungee cord probably would have made a big difference. Uh, next time I'll try that. But that's my scope cam setup. Pretty, pretty basic, yet effective. Um, as long as I get those hose clamps tightened down good, that seems to stay centered in the scope as far as the view. I have a little more work to mess around and try to get it all figured out yet, but this is my preliminary 
first attempt at it. So, uh, real basic, effective, and fun. It looks really cool. I like to get my uh, get a deer or something killed with this done at four, five, six hundred yards. That'd be pretty neat. So, uh, anyway, I hope this maybe gave you a little bit of information on what you can do that's cheap and inexpensive to make a scope cam.